What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today is a day I have been putting off for a very long time. I am taking on five packs of the Korean nuclear fire noodles. I've had these things in my pantry for like two months, just terrified to get this started. So today I decided to rock the Gryffindor crew neck uh, and inspire a little bit of bravery, maybe, I don't know. What an idiot. Yeah, I am super, super nervous to get this underway, but let me show you the packaging here if you're not familiar with the fire noodle challenge at all. Yeah, check these out. And uh, thank you very much to Amazon for that wonderful barcode placement right in the middle of my pretty packaging. Rude. Anyways, I'm gonna time this, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really going for speed or anything, but we'll see how quickly I can do all five packs of these Korean nuclear fire noodles. I've been watching some videos of all the pain and torture and uh, trying to get myself psyched up to do this, but yeah, without further delay, let's cue a subpar binging with Babish style cooking sequence right now. And for our first step, we are going to open the Korean fire noodles, separate them into a bowl to get them ready to boil. This is very important to the process. We are going to add these noodles to the boiling water, mix them around until they are cooked thoroughly. Once the ramen is cooked, we must drain the ramen to prepare it for the sauce mixture of death. This is a very integral part of the process for maintaining heat and killing the taste buds. Here we go, adding all five sauce packets. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a little mixy mixy. I do not know why I am talking like this. This is not how Babish talks. However, that is how I am going to talk for this voiceover. The noodles are now mixed with the death sauce and we are adding it to a more reasonable bowl. Now just to add these odd sesame flakes along with some seaweed, aka nori, and the dish is going to be ready to serve, ready to make Katina Eats Kilos cry like a baby. All right, Kilo crew, so the noodles are all done cooking after that long, arduous process. I hope you enjoyed that very, very B-level version of binging with Babish. <laughs> so yeah, that was crazy, but this is a lot of noodles. This smells really, really spicy, and I'm pretty, pretty scared. Not gonna lie, still, still scared. The uh, Gryffindor sweater did not work as well as I thought it would for assuaging my fears. But anyways, I'm gonna try and get through this entire dish here without water, and we'll just see how quickly I can go through this, do this thing. Before I get started, if you could do me a big favor and give this video a like, just, you know, just for the sake of my gut, because this is about to burn. And also I apologize in advance for all of the, um, the flow that's probably about to happen. So without further ado, three, two, one, let's eat some fire noodles. All right, first things first, these do smell good, but they do smell hot as well. And they're quite temperature hot too. Hmm. Flavor's good. Yummier than I expected. There's definitely a lot of spicy heat though in the back. Mm. Oh yeah, that's kicking in. Ooh, it's already cranking up my body temperature. They have a nice good teriyaki taste to them though. Oh, and in case you're curious, this is about ah, close to 2700 calories for this whole thing. Whew. The 
scarier thing of this is that there's like 7,500 milligrams of sodium. Oh yeah, it's pretty, pretty hot. My lips are burning. Tongue is on fire. I should have brought a hair tie. Whew. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's very temperature hot and spicy hot. Wow. Made me sweat and shake. Ugh. These are not a joke. I didn't think it would be this this hot. Oh my goodness. Whew. Tears are happening. You can see how dark red that sauce is. Oh my goodness. Oh, so many tears. Oh man, I'm crying like a baby. water because I'm so hot and it's so salty. I will never get the appeal of ASMR noodles. That slurpy sound kind of grosses me out. Huh. But teach their own. Stomach is already starting to burn. Ah, this is character building. Oh, the end is near. Light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully not literally. and scoop it into my mouth. So close. Oh, nine minutes.
and 35 seconds. Uh, going at a casual pace, relatively. Whew. Whew, super hot. I'm uh, crying. I look like a mess. I probably have running mascara. I can't really see because I'm crying so hard. Oh, but yeah, y'all, <clears throat> I survived the uh, five-time nuclear Korean fire noodle challenge. Oh, if you could do me a big favor and like this video, if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Whew. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to try the two times spicy nuclear fire noodle challenge. I can probably arrange that. I'm burning pretty good. I'm gonna go crawl in a hole somewhere and die. <clears throat> yeah, that's enough panting and dying on camera for now. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. That was the five time Korean fire noodle, nuclear fire noodle challenge in nine minutes and 35 seconds. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next video, peace out. Bye.